Crystal Diego is a self-taught artist from Houston, Texas, born and raised in Mindanao, Philippines. When I first met Crystal, she was very excited to share with me her talents and I cannot wait to share with you all too. So here you go, Kamabayan, let's watch her stories. Well, it all started when um, I was in the Philippines. I, you know, was raised there in Mindanao, my grandma raised me pretty much. My mom was working in Saudi Arabia for a while doing hair and makeup and um, while she was there I was in the Philippines and she ended up finding you know the man she loves and um, they finally got married brought me to Saudi Arabia. Moving to Saudi Arabia was very difficult for Crystal. She was in a new country with no friends and close family. Growing up she was raised by her grandmother and being separated from her made it more difficult. Um, I think I found my fa passion there in arts. When I first did my competition, I got first place, so I was super excited about that. And um, ever since, that was my only way out. Like when I, I was rebellious when I got there. So, you know, just the fact that art was the only thing that can keep me sane, um, I stuck with that. And ever since, I've always, you know, had passion for art and found myself in art. And then for a couple of years, when I, I went to the, you know, I got here in the U.S. and when I was 14, and I stopped doing art for a while. I was, I was in a really bad situation to where like, you know, moving to another state, especially, you know, Houston, the U.S. was my first time, and it was difficult because I made friends in Saudi, and the fact that I'm moving there somewhere else is, like, okay, am I gonna move again? You know, but. Um, it was just two years ago that I got back into art. I went to an art gallery and um, it inspired me to do you know, what I wanted to do. For Crystal, a visit to a gallery inspired her to start doing art again. Afterwards, she went straight to the art store to purchase canvases and paint, then started painting again that night and found herself into it again. I was like, wow, I, I could be doing this every single day and, you know, can I inspire people, you know, to do what they love to do. And I think ever since then, I've, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to start doing art and every single day that I, you know, get out of work, like, that's my escape. And, you know, especially with work and stress, you're just like, okay, I need, like, stress reliever. And that's where I found myself as an art as well. Crystal's first painting was called The Universe. This was the art she created on the night she found herself back into it again. She loves abstract painting because of the texture and the vibrant color, plus she says that it keeps her in her zone. She gets to express her true self. Her art led her into her new business and her latest venture of purse painting. I started painting the clutches or purses. Um, it started, I've always wanted to do fashion for a while and it was actually one rainy day when I got, I was like, you know what, let me think outside the box and actually, you know, go out and, you know, outside of like painting canvases, why not paint like purses, you know, like, or anything with fashion. And I think purses is like easiest way to do it. For Crystal, her art on purses and clutches helps her show her love for fashion. It helped her launch her own business of selling her own brand of personalized purses and clutches with her art on it. Besides her fashion business, she also shared that she has a checklist she wants to accomplish this year. And this year was actually, I had like almost all my checklists like checked and I accomplished a lot of things. I, um, I guess I was in the magazine, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> that was in my checklist and um, got into an art gallery, like showcased all my art and got more shows. Um, doing this video <laughs> so you know and and I'm kind of glad that the feedback that I get from my art like people say that I inspire them to do what they want to do like being an artist like makeup artist or hairdresser like I mean it's all form of art so you know I'm kind of glad that I get to inspire them as much as they inspire me so um, and I think it's I think it's great Crystal dedicates her blessings to many people she would like me to share a message to her parents of how she is grateful for all of their sacrifices and hard work for her to have a better future. 
She's appreciative of her stepdad for loving her as his own and very proud of her two talented siblings. She expressed how she draws inspiration from many people in her life and cherishes her unforgettable moment of when she visited the art show that inspired her to start her passion of art again. She is grateful for her blessings, but also has plans for the future. Right now, I'm focusing more on my clients' purses, designing it for them. So hopefully next year, I'll have more time on selling it and designing more. Um, hopefully do a fashion show as well. But you can catch me doing live art at two of my events actually coming up in September and October. And you can find all that information in www.crystallayegoart.com. I'll be posting all the information, so hopefully you guys support me. Maraming salamat po. It was such a pleasure to share you all Crystal's stories today. One thing she also told me that the only way to do great work is to love what you do. So salamat Crystal. The Pinoy Houston TV family is so proud of you. Angel Drake, BHTV.